Okay. Psycho chickens of cyberspace. It's Troy Casey, certified health nut. Your leader. <laughs> you know, a lot of people ask me, you know, hey, what, what is a psycho chicken? And uh, why do you guys, you know, that's demeaning to your people, you know, calling people a psycho chicken. And the thing about the psycho chicken, first of all, chicken's a funny word. And psycho is a funny word too, you know, it's just the combination of the two. I study linguistics and uh, um, yeah, so psycho chicken is a funny word, first of all. Second of all, to me what it means is that, you know, we're all bouncing around, you know, running around like chicken with its head cut off and doing this and doing that. And a lot of the stuff that we're doing is pure fluff, right? So, <clears throat> excuse me. A lot of the stuff that we're doing is pure fluff, right? We need water, food, shelter, and fire. And, you know, now we live in this debt slave economy and people are just running around trying to chase paper. I read about this in my book, you know, chasing paper um, just for the sake of making money. People don't, they're not living their soul's purpose and uh, they're just doing stuff for the sake of money. And then on top of it, we have this sum total we have the seeds of darkness and the seeds of greatness in us, and they can be expressed at 100%. I'm talking heinous crimes. At any given moment, the person that you love the most, the person that you trust the most. You know, crimes of passion exist. Um, you can read about that, you know, anywhere. Uh, business dealings go sideways, etc. It's the full expression of the human condition. And also, I study people, and I have a lot of interesting people uh, that come over my house, and I interview them as well. And it's always so fascinating to hear the most heartbreaking stories of people and what they go through. And people also write me uh, messages, and, and you know they've been wronged and hurt, and I've done a lot of uh, confrontational psychology with MITT in Los Angeles. It's a landmark forum type of thing. And I've been in the room with 60 people telling their most heart-wrenching stories from foster children being you know, hung up by their underwear and burned with scalding water and raped and ugh. And then, and then people you know, really in their mind, you know, someone has offended them um, you know, psychologically, maybe somebody's mother or father died and, and, and the siblings were not nice to them and that, you know, it, it ruins their lives. They, they gain massive amounts of weight. Um, you know, they just stop living, right? And so, and then I know also from doing the men's work and dropping people in, in ice baths, that people have, you know, the seeds of greatness in them. And I work with extreme athletes, you know, Ryan Hughes, Robbie Madison, you know, I work with firemen, war heroes, you know, people that work in the juvenile justice department system and that have hearts of gold, like just true, true brothers and sisters out there doing extremely powerful healing work. And so, you know, nothing phases me anymore to hear these stories and then also to hear the stories of people who've been wronged and then look at the seeds that I have in myself as well because I learn from people and I check in with myself and see where I am wrong. Right? And if I have that inside of myself, then I know all you guys have that out there um, as well. And so, you know, that's, that's why I call everyone, you know, psycho chicken and, you know, my children have been denied custody for the last three months. You know, I'm the greatest father I know ever. And I have such a tight bond and relationship with my kids. And, you know, I wrote a book, uh, the Ripped at 50 book tells, you know, it's, 
it, it's a deep exploration into my own honesty and vulnerability. And the last chapter, you know, has a lot to do with relationships and my ex-wife and, and um, you know, we put all our psycho chicken stuff in there as well. And, uh, but just to be, you know, denied custody of my children for over three months. And, uh, you know, if I did that to her, I think the cops would be here. And it's been a challenge just lawyering up in a, in a, in a, in a small town. Uh, and finding someone who's effective. Um, and I don't even want to get into the fucking custody battle. If people don't understand, and I've heard the, the stories, and Barbero, my homie, you know, he comes from the foster care system. The CPS will take your fucking kids, you know? Start injecting them with fucking vaccines and all sorts of fucked up shit. So... It's like I'm reticent to get in the trenches and just start fighting, you know, through the court system. It's like, you know, fuck that. So, anyways, <laughs> it's Sunday morning. Let Troy stop swearing. And, uh, you know, what else are you going to do but tap into the spirituality of your life? You know, pr prayer, and, prayer and meditation and breath work. It seems like the only thing that, you know... This is what helped me get through my divorce in 2018. And uh, I'm not even divorced now. I'm not married on paper. We, do, we, did, we did an ayahuasca ceremony. And obviously that's not going to hold up in court very well. We were, we were drunk on ayahuasca. Yahe, to say that. And so I'm, I'm not even going through a divorce again. But this is, you know, a breakup after we got you know our lives all together. So the only recourse I figured that I have as a human being is, is prayer. Oh, and a big shout out to uh, Sasha over at Sun Gods. This homie, he's got really cool designs and he's got these love shirts and uh, anyways, and he lost 20 pounds and a bunch of inches off his gut and he's a homie, he's a surfer and he's got this good surf company. So a big shout out to Sasha over at Sun Gods. And uh, he, sent me, he sent me some swag. So I'm very grateful. So let's just get in to prayer because I'm a psycho chicken just like you guys. This is, you know, this is, this is, this is my only recourse, you know, so I just, uh, I'll, I'll go with my favorite. This has so much power. And this was given to us when we got divorced, separated in 2017 by the Waldorf teachers, right? Big shout out to the Waldorf teachers of the world and anyone who has, you know, set up that schooling for the children. You know, people see me on the internet, you know, and I got a lot of fire in me and I'm working on channeling that to the best. You know, it's all about protecting the women and the children and the future of our species. The women are the natural nurturers the natural nourishers of the children. You know, we got sold on feminism and neo-Marxism, so it separated the family, burn your bra, make your own food. What happened to our food, man? What, 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 what happened to our food? You know? What happened? The men weren't watching. They were doing business, scientifically validating everything. Putting poisons in the commons. This is where we're at, guys. So, people check me on my spirituality. <laughs> Sending me hate mail. <laughs> You're not doing your job. 
unless you get detractors, you know? And no matter, everybody's saying, oh, you, you think you're spiritual, you're this or you're that, or you're a spiritual leader or this and that, and you shouldn't do this, and you shouldn't raise your voice, and <laughs> fucking bullshit, right? You shouldn't swear, right? Here's a newsflash, guys. We're all spiritual, okay? <laughs> There's the newsflash. Anyways, enough of that. Let's just get back down to the humility and my prayer that I'm a humble, kind, and gentle man. So this is the St. Teresa prayer. It cuts through the fabric of reality. <clears throat> May today there be peace within. May you trust that you are exactly where you are meant to be. May you not forget the infinite possibilities that are born in faith in yourself and others. May you use the gifts that you have received and pass on the love that has been given to you. May you be content with yourself just the way you are. Let this knowledge settle into your bones and allow your soul the freedom to sing, dance, praise, and love. It is there for each and every one of us. No matter what I'm going through, I've been gifted so many incredible blessings in my life and I'm so grateful. And I'm so grateful for all the pain. The pain helps me grow. It says the freedom to dance, praise, sing and love. You know, I started doing more ecstatic dance. Well, the good thing is, is there's a lot of dancing here um, without alcohol and drugs and smoking and, you know, chaos. I did go to, a, there, there is an after hours party and they've got an incredible sound system. There's no alcohol, but there were drunk people there and it's a little hard to contend with that type of energy, nightclub energy. I was going for a couple of weeks after ecstatic dance and there was literally like, 10, 15 people, you know, in a decent size uh, space and a killer sound system. And I just think dancing is so important to bring the frequency and vibration through the body. And I love to dance and I can dance my ass off. And so, um, and just moving all the Qigong, getting all my extremities moving, moving to the beat shaking and doing all the bioenergetics. I, I, I encourage all you guys, you know, to get out there and, and dance as much as you can. Have an ecstatic dance in your neck of the woods. Just get out there, get a boom box, go out there in the park and just dance your ass off. You guys in California, get on the beach, you know. There's no law that supersedes the Constitution of the United States of America. You have to understand that. You have to reclaim your divinity, reclaim your sovereignty. You let people take away your rights, you're going to have to give your blood to get those rights back. Never forget that. This person says, how's your ego treating you? Listen, we all have an ego. How about that? Do you understand that? We all have an ego. The ego is what gets you out of bed. The new age spiritual woo-woo nonsense comes in and tries to throw away the ego. You start hating yourself, right? Self-hatred. I teach self-love as much as you can, man. We're all psycho chickens. You fall on your face, you pick yourself up, give yourself some good water, give yourself some good nutrition, get some good sleep. Love the ones you're around. Get off pornography. Love the one you're with. Right, some basics. This is self-love. Um, I love you guys. Hey, Gabriel. Gabrielle, good to see you. Gabrielle Brick, everybody follow her. She's amazing. She's out in New York. She'll help you with your health. Right? The people that I'm working with on every level, from check practitioners to the Purium superfood business, these people will help you. 
First and foremost, and like me, we all offer a 100% satisfaction guarantee, right? I don't give money back for my time. But again, most people don't have access to me. But you got access to me here. If you don't like it, turn it off. <laughs> but I will give you the most fundamental principle stuff. It's gonna come through my filter, but I'm gonna give you just simple hydration, nutrition, sleep, movement, nature, grounding, sunlight. Immutable laws, nobody can argue with that. That's what I teach. Otherwise, just a bunch of another more philosophical goggly goop, right? There's plenty of that all over the internet. We got Facebook over here, as well as uh, Instagram. Yeah, the ego gets you out of bed in the morning. Okay, let's move on. God, I offer myself to thee, to build with me and to do with me as thou wilt. Relieve me of the bondage of self, that I may better do thy will. Take away my difficulties, that victory over them may bear witness to those I would help. Of thy power, thy love, and thy way of life. May I do thy will always. You know, I'm so grateful for my, for my challenges because that's what brought me back to God. It was my challenges that connected me to God. And, uh, you know, as a kid, some priest in Marlboro, Connecticut, Father McGuire, <laughs> picked me up hitchhike and got me wasted and then tried, you know, he literally, a child, I was, I, was, I was 13 or 14 years old. I was hitchhiking, I knew how to handle myself. And, you know, obviously, I didn't know what this guy was up to, but sure enough, after I, I thought it was kind of weird. And then as soon as I started drinking, I was seeing double. I mean, he was pouring me like hunter proof schnapps and stuff. And I was seeing double. And then he started asking the sexual questions. And I was like, nah, I'm not into any of that stuff. Why don't you give me a ride home now? I think he went out and bought me a pack of cigarettes. And, you know, I was criminally minded back, back then. So I think I ransacked his house. And I was like, fuck this guy. I'm trying to get in my pants. <laughs> I was, I was, you know, challenging. So I had a disdain for religion, right? Religion and spirituality. I, you know, I didn't know exactly what those things were. And uh, I just had a disdain for it. So I steered far away from that. And it wasn't until uh, my divorce and separation, separation in 2017, divorce finalized early 2018. And, uh, and my wife, ex-wife, Yuri Lee, was a Christian. And that didn't really get in the way of our marriage until the end. And she started rubbing it in my face. You need to find God. And of course, she was coming from a place that I'm better than you. And of course, she had her own challenges. I do believe that it is my job to guide my family and my ex-wife back to God. That is my job. So, but first and foremost, I have to find my way back. And this prayer right here, they use it, the third step prayer in, uh, in, uh, in AA. I, I was on the dance floor last night basically saying this, you know, God, come into my heart. I surrender. Because if I try and figure it out with my mind, and lawyers to get my kids back. That it's just, to me, that's a dead end road. It seems like the only road to me is my direct connection to God and the divine. If I start doing all this third dimensional math and, you know, feeling wronged and fucked and trying to get back and I mean 
honestly, with the amount of money that she took, there's a certain part of me that wants to throw her in jail. And then I, then I meditate on that and I'm like, fuck, that's not what I want. That's not what I want. You know, who's suffering? The children. And the last thing, this type of battle, I mean, we gotta come correct with ourselves. And that's why I'm doing this work right now because And I've got all sorts of advisors telling me to lawyer up and stuff. And it's just like, I just don't think that that's the way. You know, I moved here. And everybody's got guns here. Guns and lots of guns. And, you know, I've been to the shooting range once. You know, it's like, I don't even want to cross that road. I, I don't want to have to, you know. It's just not, I, I don't believe that that's the way... Uh, we the, the way forward. I do believe it's a spiritual evolution. I do believe that we are going through a quantum leap that we have not seen yet. We have not fully seen yet and realized we've only inched towards the beginning of the quantum leap, the thing that breaks the consciousness free. Now people are paying attention. They're on watch. It's like, fuck, what's gonna happen next? France, Ireland, the UK, Europe, they're fucked. They're all on lockdown. You don't get rights back. You have to spill blood to get those rights back. And I just say that I think we fought all the wars. I think we're going through an evolution, not a revolution. So my single prayer is that that God is with me no matter what. And I've never been religious because of what happened with Father McGuire in Marlboro, Connecticut back in 1979, 1980. He didn't touch me. I've never been compromised in the fashion industry or anything like that. And I do believe all this pedophilia, it replicates this child abuse, this raping and pillaging and sexual abuse against children. I do believe that that's what's replicating much of our problems. So again, because I was turned off by the religions, I lost my way, but obviously all the stories from the Bible and all the religious texts, I don't wanna just say the Bible, they trickle down to you and all spiritual, all spiritual texts have the same axioms, right? Love, brotherly love, do unto yourself as you would have others do unto you, the golden rule. Do unto others as you would want them have done to you, right? Love and forgiveness. These are the basic fundamental principles. The forgiveness will free you. You know, you can forgive. You don't have to forget. You don't have to lose and become jaded on trust. You always trust people <laughs> that they are a psycho chicken. They can be the sum total of greatness or the sum total of darkness at any given moment, right? Judas Priest, remember that story? There's one amongst us. This is what happened to me recently. The closest person to me, right? completely tried to dismantle and self-sabotage everything. We have this in us. So we can only work with love and forgiveness. And I'm not always there. Oh, let me tell you. But with the prayer, it will help. And uh, the prayer will help the other aspects of spirituality. Because let's face it, we have four bodies in the third dimension. Mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual. And I know as a healer, as someone who guides people to their own healing, guides people back to their own divinity, that you can get more mileage healing things spiritually quicker, faster. It's just that that's usually 
the harder work because we don't have a lot of training in this. There's no rites of passage. We don't take the time to sit, you know, 10 day Vipassana courses as a rites of passage, as a child, as a, you know, this isn't our, uh, this isn't our main stay. So you have to learn it the hard way. And that's fine too. We're either living or learning. And I do believe that we come to this earth plane to, to learn and also experience. So again, I haven't been into the religions, but you hear the stories of Jesus, Christos, the light, the son of God, right? And we are all children of God. That is my understanding. We're all figuring this out. And the ones that have walked before me that have written these prayers, they have figured it out through their own challenges and difficulties. So I ask for peace and harmony. I ask for grace. But I'm not afraid of anything that I have to go through. So let's get back to the prayer. Because this is saving grace. I'm going to read all of these today. Because I think we need them all. These are powerful times. These are very powerful times. The prayers I share with you, they're non-religious. And you can get your prayers and incantations from anywhere. You'll know the purity when you feel them, when you hear them. God, please help me forgive all people. All people forgive me. Help us all forgive ourselves. Please, God, thank you, God. Oh, man, thank you, God. God, please help all humanity throughout all time, past, present, and future. All forgive each other, forgive ourselves. Be at peace with each other. Be at peace with ourselves. Love each other and love ourselves now and forever. Please, God, thank you, God. Oh, Amen. Thank you, God. Oh, Amen. God, for me, my family, our entire lineage and all humanity throughout all time, past, present, and future. Please help us all forgive each other, forgive ourselves, be at peace with each other, be at peace with ourselves. Love each other and love ourselves. Now and forever, please God, thank you God. Thank you God, amen. We love you God, thank you for loving us. We love you God, thank you for loving us. We love you God, thank you for loving us. Thank you God, amen. God, for me, my family, our entire lineage and all humanity throughout all time, past, present, and future. Please help us all forgive each other. Forgive ourselves. Forgive all people. And all people forgive us completely and totally now and forever. Please, God, thank you, God. Amen. Thank you, God. God, please help all humanity, the earth, and all life throughout all time, past, present, and future. All forgive each other. Forgive ourselves. Be at peace with each other and be at peace with ourselves. Love each other and love ourselves now and forever. Please, God, thank you, God. Amen. Thank you, God. Amen. God, for all humanity throughout all time, past, present, and future, we give you our love and we thank you for your constant love and blessings. Please fill us always with your infinite bounty, generosity, love, joy, peace, and total trust in you, God. Please show us the way always and protect us as we live our lives now and forever. Please, God, thank you, God. Amen. Thank you, God. Amen. God, for me, my family, and all humanity throughout all time, past, present, and future, please help us all forgive people. Forgive all people. Help all people forgive us. And help us all forgive ourselves. Please, God, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Amen. Help us all love each other and love ourselves. Be at peace with each other and be at peace with ourselves. Please, God, thank you, God. Amen. God, we give you our love and we thank you for your constant love and blessings. We appreciate and respect all your creations and we fill all your creations with our love. God, we give you our love and we thank you for your constant love and blessings. We appreciate and respect all your creations and we fill all your creations with our love. 
God, please open, bless, empower, expand, lead, guide, direct, and protect me, my family, and all humanity throughout all time, now and forever. Please, God, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Amen. God, please open my mind, heart, and being to your complete, limitless, bountiful prosperity and love. Please help all things that I think, say, and do be filled with your complete, limitless, bountiful prosperity and love. Please allow me to be blessed with the riches and bounty of your heavens and your earth always. Please lead me, guide me, direct me into your life, into your light, and into your love and into your complete, limitless, bountiful prosperity and love, celebrating life as the gift it is from you, God, now and forever. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Amen. God, for me, my family, our entire lineage, and all humanity throughout all time, past, present, and future, please help us all forgive each other, forgive ourselves, forgive all people, and all people forgive us completely and totally, now and forever. Please, God. Thank you, God. Amen. Fill us all with your love and give us all complete peace now and forever. Please, God, thank you, God. Amen. Help us all love each other and love ourselves. Be at peace with each other and be at peace with ourselves now and forever. Please, God, thank you, God. Amen. God, we give you our love and we thank you for your constant love and blessings. We appreciate and respect all your creations and we fill all your creations with our love. We thank you, God, for your love. We thank you, God, for our lives. We thank you, God, for all life. We thank you, God, for all your creations. We love you, God. Thank you for loving us. We love you, God. Thank you for loving us. We love you, God. Thank you for loving us. Thank you, God. Amen. God, please open, bless, empower, expand, lead, guide, direct, and protect me, my family, and all humanity throughout all time, past, present, and future, now and forever. Please, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Amen. And I'd like to thank my ex-wife, Yuri Lee. I'd like to thank all my haters and detractors because they helped me look inside myself. <laughs> yes, I do my work when you send me hate mail. I check in with my own vibrations. You know, I understand that most people's shit is their shit. I got that. But whatever's my side of the street, I check in with that. Okay, so thank you. Thank you to my ex-wife for giving me the gift of understanding, the gift of connection to God. Paul Check and I made a great video called uh, The Dark Side of God, and he really lays it out. There's four interpretations of religious script, and literal is the first one. Really watch that video on my YouTube channel if you want a special treat for yourself even if you think you know. And for me, <laughs> I try to understand that I don't know anything, right? So I'm so grateful for the challenges that have come into my life. I am so grateful because it, he, it continues to help me grow. You know, I sat a lot of Vipassana courses. I sat 11 of them trying to get through. I drank So many cups of ayahuasca looking for enlightenment. And all of it has helped. I've had 60 Maori healings or more. It's all helped. But these challenges that have brought me to my knees, <clears throat> I am so grateful for them. I am, I am so grateful. for all the challenges. I am grateful for living in Sedona, Arizona. These stone Buddhas, pyramids, God's creations, it stares me right back in the face. I pray to God as much as I can remember throughout the day, just keep me on the straight and narrow. Hey, look, I'm not always there, you know? I start, you know, swearing, all my spiritual advisors are really, you know, helping me check in with, you know, the vibrations that I'm sending out. My good friend Jamuna, big shout out to him. 
real powerful brother. You know, he broke his back. And he comes from a really wealthy family. And he's, he's been on the homeless path for years. He does Qigong. He's the healthiest homeless. He's the healthiest, happiest homeless guy I've ever met. And, you know, he saw, he saw my, my speech. Somebody's calling me. <clears throat> Maybe that's Jamuna. He's, uh, he saw my speech up here for the March 20 Freedom Rally. And I was coming at it hard, strong, and fast. And he says, you only get peace by being peaceful. So between that and all the hate mail, you know, I, I, I've been working on, you know, just coming correct with myself. All right. All right, party people. Let's just breathe. I got back into the weights too. <laughs> you can't keep a good man down. <clears throat> well, you guys out there, build that strength into your body. It's gonna build you confidence. It's gonna allow you, <clears throat> you know, get through this world. So you're gonna see me get cock D at 60, baby, right? I am dedicated to myself, my own divinity. This is the temple of God. Never forget it. So, Troy, you're amazing. Thank you for sharing and being so genuine. I've been watching your evolution throughout the years. Thank you so much, Monica. You know, and blessings to you. We were old friends. Yes. Um, you know, I believe that the new currency is authenticity. And, uh, and I believe we are all altruistic at the heart level. I do believe that we all want peace. And so, um, so all roads lead to God, and I'm gonna win no matter what. We're all winning, we're all going back home, we're all going to God. No matter what happens to me, you can't stop me from breathing. And even if you put a, in even, well, I won't even talk about that because I've already seen the vision. I go through on battle. I do. I go through battle, all battles unscathed. We make it, and I definitely make it. I'm leading the charge. I've seen the vision so many times, <laughs> and using the laws of alchemy, I am calling it forth. Right? No different from the Wright brothers wanting to fly like an eagle. We make it, guys. We make it. I realize God, while I'm alive, while I'm alive, I transition to the next dimension consciously. This is my prayer. I make it, we make it. Winning, <laughs> winning is the only option. And this is where we're all headed, guys. This is where we are all headed. <sighs> yes, use the force. Use the force, which is the presence of God inside of you. So again, that's my prayer. Oh, he's got an ear for the door. I've had the cops over here once already. He already served me with a restraining order <laughs> with no evidence. It's just a woman crying. Look, in this climate today, you can scream rape, you can cry rape, you can put somebody in jail. Look at Jesse Smollett with, you know, the fake race riot stuff out in 
out in Chicago last year. That got buried. We don't even pay attention to that anymore, right? <clears throat> it's, a, it's a federal crime. It's a, actually a hate crime because lying about stuff like that marginalized people that actually do get harmed with a real hate crime. It was a federal crime. And then, of course, the local <clears throat> Democratic people, because the powers that be went in and funded all the Republicans and the Democrats. So it's just all infighting. And that's what they're doing with men, women, the race. You see all the stop Asian hate right now. You know, they, they pull off these false flags, these shootings, or they allow them to happen or they create them or whatever happens. Right. And then all of a sudden, whatever the social engineers are doing, they start hashtags. Right. And anything that that speaks truth, like J.P. Sears, Brian Rose, uh, look at the whole QAnon movement. If you even mention that, you get completely marginalized. But what is QAnon? <laughs> did you even investigate it or did you just watch CNN and then just start marginaling, marginalizing anyone that you disagree with? or that triggers you, and then you just throw them in the boat, and then where they're going is, is QAnon, Trump supporter, domestic terrorist, right? But the real domestic terrorists are the ones that they allow for peaceful protests out there and burning down the cities, and what they did in Santa Monica, and, you know, breaking windows and looting buildings. You know, it's fucking... And then the cops stand down. Anyways, we're gonna breathe, guys. Cleansing breath, pumping the belly button into the heart. Exhale all the way. Oh. Inhale. Hold. Good round, first round. Clear those channels, baby. Get that larynx. Get that stuff out of your gut, man. Get the emotions, the dank stuff. Clear the channels. You don't have to be so dramatic. Just fill your lungs.
Exhale the weight. Hold. In the old That was a great second round, guys. Really just cuts the, you're not gonna stop me from breathing. Uh, again, I go through battle unscathed. God is always with me. They can never take away the power of God that lives inside of you. It's always there. I appreciate you guys tuning in. We're going through this together. We're gonna to reach enlightenment together, guys. I swear to God, that's exactly what's happening. <laughs> part of life. If you need to enter the next dimension through death, it is always there for you. Do your spiritual work now. Forgive those that have harmed you. It's been said in the afterlife, that will do you well. And please let me do my own work right here, right now. Forgive all. Those prayers, even though I was reading off the paper, those prayers, they come from me. The vibrations, they saturate my cells. When I forget, please remind me. <laughs> or if you watch the video, The Dark Side of God with Paul Check, God is always reminding you. Or it's like good old Paul likes to teach. The pain teacher is always guiding you. The question is, are you listening? Sometimes it's got to get loud for uh, old Troy Casey over there. <laughs> I call Paul every once in a while, tell him some of my challenges. He just laughs. <laughs> Welcome to the club. You know, I'm growing in business. Let me tell you. <laughs> my advisors, I got this one billionaire advisor, and he's like, <laughs> doesn't matter the challenges. Now that you're making money, at least you know you could just make more. And that comes down from the creation principle, right? Biggest part of my money piece is I had to surrender, right? Shout out to Jimmy Franzo and his friend Michael. They were older than me and we were doing men's work. Troy Casey saddles up. When I do men's work, I do my work. You know, I'll, I'll teach, lead, and guide because somebody has to, let me tell you, otherwise you get a shit show. But uh, I do my work and I, my money piece was fucked up. This is 2017. There I was, you know, teaching the man clan in Joshua Tree. My, you know, there I was teaching. And, you know, I got vulnerable and I got clear, man. I was just like, I can't get this money piece together. And uh, these guys taught me surrender. And that was my prayer. And I, I 
I just, I asked to get out of my own way. So, all right, let's do the final round. Three rounds, stretch out the face, jaw, eyeballs. The mind stores tension in the body. So all that emotional, mental gymnastics that we tell ourselves, we get stuck in the face. Uh, 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 uh. First and foremost. And big shout out to Dr. Christopher Ging, man. He poked the living hell out of my octic cranial nerve. He got my third eye, though, the other day. Oh, man, it's still so fucking tender. Oh. Oh. And excuse my French. I'm watching my language a little bit more. I mean, I've tried to tame my language over the years. I like dropping F-bombs. But you know what? I also watch other people's language. You know, sometimes it's inappropriate. Sometimes it's appropriate. Anyways, big shout out to Dr. Christopher Ging. He hit all this stuff and found an infection in my face. I got a big sty that came out of my eye. He worked on me three times, but this third eye thing, <laughs> that dude's a genius. <laughs> it's right at the end of at the end of it. And he got up there and he was like, BAM! And I was like, fuck! <laughs> I got off the table and I was like, dude, I can't, I had to shake. I had to like, <gasps> I had to shake. And I was like, all right, doctor, time out. I'm done for today. <laughs> I, I tapped out for sure. And it is so tender. And I wish all you guys, especially if you guys are having really challenging health issues, that you get in touch with Dr. Christopher Ging. He will be in Sedona with a Russian psychic surgeon April 9th. And, um, you know, I hope you guys get to work with him. He's out of Dallas. He travels to uh, Southern California. He just worked on Bobby and Mariel Hemingway. I sent him out to Malibu. Um, you know, I hope you can. I hope you can work on him. I don't know why I got in that subject, but let's just uh, let's just finish. Uh, how do you spell his last name? G I N G, and he's you know somewhat under the radar, but he you know he works with the incurables. You know, he works with the power of God. He says that our, you know our emotions, our blood holds all our emotions, and he taps into that man. Fuck. Rocked my third eye. It's so tender, and it looks so vicious when he when he does the healing. I should have a video coming out with this. Um, <laughs> that was the other thing through all these challenges <laughs> with my ex wife. My assistant Curtis completely shit the bed. He didn't want to deal with it. She started bossing him around. She's like, ur, ur, ur. "I'm fifty percent of the business," and blah blah blah. And she's not. We got divorced in two thousand eighteen. We split everything. <laughs> I mean, you can claim anything that you want. So, anyhow, she's like, you listen to me and I'm, you know, I'm your boss. <laughs> he just quit. <laughs> so, I've had, uh, you know, challenges with, you know, getting some stuff done recently. And so, uh, <laughs> is somebody in here fighting? <laughs> hey, thanks for always sticking up for me, guys. I don't mind the trolls because they really help the algorithms. <laughs> All roads lead to God, guys. All roads lead to God. Yeah, Hala, you should come out and see. Hala, I'll give you his phone number. Uh, he comes to California too. And so uh, you're alleging loving your vibes all the way from Glasgow, Scotland. Hey, look, I really give everyone out in, in Glasgow a big shout out. You know, I love Scotland. And my man Andy Mills is out there. Um, hey, Kyle, good to see you, homie. Man, I hope everything's okay over there in London, the UK. I know you got some freedom fighters out there, Brian Rose and stuff, um, but you need more. So I pray for you guys because, you know, my military intelligence officer I'm working with, you know, he's got friends all over the world. And yeah, Europe's a little screwed right now. 
because they're done. We have guns here. That's the only reason why we're not all in complete lockdown, forced concentration camps. You guys think I'm fucking joking? <laughs> Read The Great Reset by Klaus Schwab. Read, read, uh, read UN Agenda 21, you know? Again, most of you guys are programmed to be like, oh, QAnon. That's a trigger. And then you start marginalizing people. You're programmed. You're programmed. I studied QAnon for three years. Do I promote them? No. Do I think something's going on? Do I think there's, there's some good intelligence in there? Yeah. Is it another psychological operation from the other side? Or they play both sides of the fence. Anyways, I got uh, two minutes. Let's do the final round. Here we go. Breath of fire. In through the nose, out through the nose. Pump the belly button into the heart. <laughs> Exhale all the way. Hold. Inhale, hold. Peace be with you guys.